Hi guys, Vex here. Welcome back to Building Super Hostile Online. Today I just wanted to show off a new form of shop I had. Uh, but first, I wanted to show off just real quick uh, this architectural style. Uh, I think it looks uh, really nice. Uh, my goal was to have some depth here, and I think that's definitely been accomplished. And yeah, nice repeating style matches the rest of the the architecture. Um, the building's not done yet, but uh, the outside walls are. And I just thought it looked cool. I wanted to show it off. Okay, so we're back here at my little uh, work area where I can test out things. Uh, basically at the bottom of the map, out of the way from construction projects. Uh, and there's a city wall stretching out over there. You can see basically how big the city's going to be. Uh, I think you can actually see the wall over there on that side, and then over here. So it's my view distance is up to max 32 chunks. Uh, so you can you can see about how big the hub city is going to be. Um, it's going to be pretty big. There should be plenty of space for everyone in here. Uh, the uh, or put more simply, we have more space than server power, I think, yeah. We've got way more space than we could actually have people on the server. Uh, so anyway, here are my old uh, old designs that I, I was pretty proud of. I'm still, you know, basically, basically brand new to command blocks. The only thing I had really used command blocks for like ever is uh teleporters yeah that that's that's it like teleporters that's it so my first design here like this is this is so inefficient and clunky uh but i mean it it does you know it works this is using uh the X, uh, xp now, I've decided that experience points are going to be for major purchases. So, things that you would save up for. Um, cheap stuff, daily purchases, that is going to be gold. So, uh, so I, I know that... Uh, Emeralds are in Minecraft, and they're used for villager trading. I, there, I mean that's okay, but I wanted to use gold, and the reason I want to use gold as a currency is one, you can make weapons and armor out of it and tools, so it has intrinsic value that it can be turned into uh, work, and it can be. Uh, it's a resource that can be turned into manipulation of the game world. Makes sense? Pretty simple. Uh, you could also use it to make a reasonably powerful healing item that will give you absorption, hearts, and regen, and saturation. So that's also intrinsic value there. And it's stackable, uh, more readily stackable than emeralds are. Uh, so gold is basically going to be the petty currency, while experience is going to be more like a mile, like a milestone, major milestone currency. So really big important things are going to take experience points, and that's your encouragement to not die. And to this end, I'm actually considering removing XP bottles. Maybe. I don't know yet. Because I really want the player to be encouraged to save up experience without dying and for dying to actually, you know, be a, th a threat and to mean something. Uh, so yeah, that's an incentive that, that I, that's really valuable to have from a game design point of view. Uh, now the signage, if you go to a shop, uh, you will see... Uh, 1G, lowercase, is a gold nugget. Uh, 1G, uppercase, is a bar. And 1GG is the big boy here, the uh, golden block. 
I don't know how often you'll actually see these two. Uh, I would assume most purchases are going to be in denominations of just 1G here. Um, it's a base 9 currency system. If only, if only it was 10, you know? Like 10 of these make one of these, but it's no, it's 9. So it's all. It's, it's whatever. You know, it's not quite metric, huh? Uh, but I, th I think for the most part, everybody's just going to work in 1G, lowercase. Uh, but that this is what I will use on my shop signage, just in case you ever see these. You don't be, you're, you don't flip out and be like, "What do those mean?" Uh, this so these are my old uh, old shops over here. Kind of clunky in my personal opinion. Uh, here's my new model shop, and it's just two command blocks and one fuel is, for example, I'm, I'm using the fuel as the example resource, but it could be food, it could be armor, weapons, a fishing pole, a pickaxe, you know, whatever. Uh, but one fuel is one gold. There you go. Pretty cool. Very elegant. Uh, so this just slash clear at P, R equals three, Minecraft gold nugget. I had a hell of a time figuring this out right here. Um, but this basically means any data value, and this means one of them. And it's impulse unconditional needs redstone, and this is chain conditional always active. I don't, yeah, always active. And then there's all the code. This is look at the look at the stupid code for all the lore on this on this on this thing. I need I actually needed help uh, debugging this because I didn't type it right the first time. Uh, but yeah, that's it. And I'm facing them sideways, and that way the sign and the button can fit on the front. And so these shops are very compact, and you'll walk into like the small area, and you'll see these mounted in the wall with all kinds of products for sale. And uh, to sell an item, I would just flip it. I would do uh, slash clear at P Minecraft the item you're selling, and then I would give you here, instead of giving you a pressure plate, you would get a gold nugget. And the reason this works if you don't have any on you, you can't cheese the shop and buy without any inventory, is that very simply this is a conditional. So uh, because it can't clear, because you don't have a nugget, like I don't I don't need the test for, basically is what I'm saying. Um, so that lets it just be a two command block system. Very very elegant and very simple and I'm quite proud of it. Being a complete noob and teaching myself command block gurry, command blockery, command blockology. Uh, the study of command blocks, whatever that's called. Uh, yeah. So yeah, that's actually it for today's video. I think that was pretty short, but I've been working on this all day actually trying to figure out how to I didn't know, I've never used the clear command before, or the syntax on it. And the, the dumb thing is, is that the syntax, um, like if you type such clear, it just clears your inventory. And if you type, um, if you mistype it, it won't give you the syntax. Like if I do slash effect, it will tell me how to use it right there. But if I do slash clear, do I have anything in my inventory I really want to keep? No. If I do slash clear, or if I do slash clear and then mess it up, it won't tell me a correct syntax here. So I had to go look it up online, what the syntax of slash clear was. Uh, the radius is 3, and that basically means that you got to be pretty close to the command block. Um, so yeah, if, if it doesn't work, just get closer to it. Because you can actually be, I think right here... If you activate it from like this far away, it won't actually activate. Yeah. That's just to prevent it going off accidentally and getting... I was actually thinking of making it down to two, so basically you have to be right here. Like right up front on this thing. But that's... Uh, in practice, that actually ends up being a bit obnoxious. And so I thought three was a good distance. You still have to be pretty close to it. Anyway, uh, that's it for today. I'll see you guys later. Until then, as always... 
Take it easy.